I'm just going to be designing some characters. How deep can it be? Character design. I love character design. Don't you love character design? You can get wacky with it. You can keep it chill. You can get silly with it. In this video, I'm going to be designing nine characters who all love arson. I'm going to create some paintings of them and make them fight. Firstly, we're starting with the biggest menace of the nine of them, Mika. And so some of you guys have probably seen Mika, but oh man, she has become much, much more devious. And there are like some cute stuff, you know, there's some cute panels of her, but mainly she's on that arson activity. She likes to L dance on her victims and when she kills people if she thought they were interesting she likes to write about them in her manga for fun who doesn't love a character like that oh yeah did i mention she likes arson she really likes arson anyways the plan is simple we're gonna design her to look slightly creepy not too creepy but slightly creepy and also a little bit cheery all right so here's some of the work i did i was ratted to in the kitchen right here but for whatever reason i realized that i couldn't really tell which outfit was perfect for mika because honestly all of them in their own way are for Mika. And I thought maybe I just need to create some more designs, but nah. I just couldn't tell which one was like Mika, which one just says Mika. In fact, I never found what I wanted. Never did. I found it really frustrating because there's no like right answer in a way. They all match her. And so eventually I decided to move on and hope that maybe later I'll figure out how to find a better answer. Now, next up we have Miyuna and she's a little classy, a little edgy, a little grumpy. Every series needs one of these characters. However, Miyuna is a little bit different because she's batshit just like Mika. Do those burnt up people have Jordans? Not anymore. Did you go to the bathroom and leave unguarded fried chicken? I hope you're happy with the bones. Is that your puppy spot in the backyard? Nah, that's Jamal. <laughs> it's like, nah, Miyuna would never steal puppy. And that's because these sisters are actually friendly too. You know, who cares if, you know, they burn up a couple dozen cities? <laughs> There's still people at the end of the day. And you know, I said it like a joke, but Miyuna really wouldn't steal puppy. Miyuna is actually one of the first characters I've ever imagined up in my head and so I really wanted to give her some justice here. Also FYI, her nickname's Jupiter. Just saying that in case I confuse you. Alright, so while designing her, I remember there's a lot of videos that diss Momo for My Hero and basically it's because she has like an opening on her chest. Basically, they wanted that joint closed up. However, I think Momo's design is very inspiring and just maybe I did the same for Miyuna. I don't know. Alright, so for his first design, I gave her one of those little calf like these also i gave her like this kind of skirt because miyuna is able to detach anything that has joints or gaps like elbows the gaps on the car hood bricks so i wanted to give her a design where she can easily detach her body and yeah overall i feel like this design was pretty cool but i created more so let me do a tour of these outfits real quick all right so firstly we got the outfits where it looks like she sells drugs possibly to children <laughs> actually wait, wait wait no no my own character doesn't sell drugs to children now right here we got you know some spicier stuff i actually actually always imagined jupiter to wear a skirt because i feel like it would be like badass for someone to just like stomp out her enemies in a dress i kind of changed my opinion on that but regardless these are cool here are the cool hoodie versions um i really like these a lot i think they look dope lastly we have the outfits that look like freaking free battle pass fortnite skins yeah i hate them that's all i gotta say i think it's very easy to pin down the main ones i would like i like the one with the skirt and i like the one with the hoodie i feel like they look cool so i went to go do some trial runs all right so right here we just got miyuno falling from the sky i also popped her arms out we also got the little moon thing whose design i'll probably save for another time if you watch soul eater you know that it's basically soul eater moon <laughs> also some side lore is i used to imagine miyuna to look like hu Tuao, and that's why this moon thing exists hu Tuao is just creeping so it just kind of led me down that puppet type of path but yeah guys i'm not gonna lie man i'm not vibing with whatever this outfit is she kind of has like this police type vibe and i'm not messing with it but the hoodie version bro the hoodie version is looking dope look at that joint i also decided to give her a scar and to part her eyebrows because parted eyebrows are pretty cool i would have done it myself i'm just afraid them joints might not grow back next i went to go try out some different hairstyles because i really was not vibing with the ponytail anymore eventually i settled on long straight hair with bangs kind of makes her look edgy while not being too edgy all right so i've come back to draw some more action poses i think she's looking dope like this is totally the vibe i imagined jupiter to have like she just looks dope and i'm gonna keep it a buck with you guys this got me hyped up like this is it's got me super excited however just like for mika i still feel slightly conflicted i have been spending hours working on this and although she's finished she's not 
All right, that's two done. Seven more arson sisters left to go. I'm gonna complete three or four more, and then I'm gonna draw two of them fighting each other and make a whole manga out of it. By the way, the manga ended up taking 20 days to create. All right, guys, so right now I'm creating a reference board for Marinella, and I almost forgot this, but she is literally the second character I've ever imagined up. And I remember I used to just like chill while imagining her up, like just creating cool plot scenes and fights and stuff. It is really cool that I'm finally getting able to draw her. All right, so who's Marinella? Well, to put it simply, Marinella is Gojo. You're 10 feet from her, you're dead. 50 feet away, you're dead. 100 feet, you're dead. She will find you and you will be dead. Sound like she needs to be nerfed? Nah, this is her nerf version. She's the oldest of the nine sisters. She also has a flying fish from the fourth dimension that can store weapons in an alternate dimension inside its stomach. But her favorite weapon is just a big ass hammer the size of her body. Because, you know, she loves murder. Murder is fun. Also, did I mention that her arrows explode? Yes, yes. Very fun stuff. Very fun. Anyone who would fight her would have so much fun especially helpless civilians living paycheck to paycheck yes yes also did i mention that her all right so i've been drawing and i may or may not have copied yuki the thing about open foreheads is they show a lot of confidence they show a lot of power okay um i just may have copied another jdk character but um i don't think it's too similar but yeah i picked this because marinella could be like a bit mysterious and quirky sometimes next we got a wolf cut and yeah bro i'm gonna save them for the motherfucking wolves yeah so those were the first three designs i made and uh i hope you don't think it stops there because no i end up giving her curly hair and an earring i try out one with the hat i try out curly hair in general i try out a whole bunch of different curly hairs i create whatever the hell this is not gonna lie this is pretty cute but it's weird we also got this i'm sorry uh this hairstyle is absolute trash i whipped up a whole wealthy verse of marinellas i even created a hat for her mainly because my brother walked in and noticed that she was basically mimi <laughs> And then eventually I landed on this and I think she looks super sick. I actually feel like I outdid myself with this one. It feels super fleshed out. FYI, you'll be seeing this hat a shit ton. All right, so I decided to work on her expressions because it's just fun. She comes off a bit too mysterious, but uh, these expressions are decently accurate. All right, so here's her body and yeah, she's sitting at a good 5'8". All right, so let's give her an outfit real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah nice. Yo, she kind of mysterious and quirky, but I still feel okay, like- Okay, but would the reader want her to step on them? Because yeah, me damn. myself- I found which one I like the most. It's this one. Now, I know this design may be super simple. However, I feel like I really want her to have like this white t-shirt energy, you know, white tank top energy. And with some color to make the t-shirt pop, like she's going to be like brown skin. So she's going to look pretty devious, man. Also, I'd give her black hair for this too if I didn't already design some sick ass looking shoes for her. All right. So I don't know if you remember, but Marinella is supposed to have a goldfish and a hammer. So I'm about to draw both of those. Boom. The goldfish is finished and now we move on to the hammer right here i did the hammer and while i was drawing this i was just like picturing <laughs> low level army men just shit their pants They're like oh hell no nah. why is the freaking head of the hammer the size of my head eventually while i was designing this i was like wait a second this joint loki reminds me of terraria being reminded of terraria helps me like create this sick ass hammer bro and i like to imagine that the teeth are moving whenever it talks some of the lines i imagine it saying are like nail i see nail hammer that nail now, one problem is that this is perhaps too detailed for a manga. If you haven't noticed, I've been trying to keep the designs not too crazy because number one, I want the outfits to feel more realistic. I want it to feel like something you'd see someone wear out on the street in real life. But also, I'm drawing a manga. It has to be easy to draw repeatedly, bro. I'm not trying to die while drawing my manga. I don't even know if I mentioned that. By the way, all these characters, I'm drawing them for my manga. You should definitely check out my Twitter because I'll be posting updates on there. I'll be posting updates. Boom, boom. Marinella is finished. She's looking sick as hell. Like, man, this is so cool, bro. Uh, I actually popped off with this one, I feel like. Um, guys, I just woke up and I'm not gonna lie. The first thing that was on my mind was Marinella. <laughs> I must have dreamed about it because I feel like she doesn't really look the way I imagined. She looks way more mysterious than I intended, the way she actually is supposed to act. And I think I'm gonna trust my guts and work on her some more.
you know at first i felt pretty disappointed while working on this one but i feel like i did a good job of creating someone who's open you know easier to talk to yet her eyes still give you like a slightly a slightly like she's watching type of look she's like paying attention and i feel like this more so feels like a bigger sister the biggest sister and yeah this is what marinella looks like all right so next up we have mavina the smartest and the second youngest sister she carries around a sniper and her hit rate is 90 percent long distance battles are not an option you probably think the best way to the theater is to get close but little do you know because close range means you're in no scoping range and when she hits you with a 360 no scope and emotes on your grave there is no need to be salty because you are not her first no scope personality wise mavina is extremely lazy and she only eats cheesy foods and desserts she gets triggered very often but she still loves her sisters and hates being short all right so i'm gonna switch some stuff up this time the main thing i learned from drawing marinella is i need to experiment more instead of just focusing on like one type of hairstyle <laughs> just look at all the braid variations bro all right so i'm rolling with the construction line method right now first i start out with the eyes because the eyes are easily the most important all right so out of all of these i picked this one because i felt like it matched her serious but bored slash lazy uninterested vibe and next we move on to the hair and i drew some curly hair and some straight hair and then i gave her a hat from there by the way as i said we'll be seeing this hat yet again also i gave her a bandana i'm not gonna lie i kind of cheated because i've already always imagined her to have a bandana so her design was kind of easy and you know i have some headband designs designs i love so much that i just want to steal them i want to steal them but you know a wise man once said imitation is a flattery it's just annoying me i completely agree except i stole from somebody and um if you're alive and like over the age of zero you definitely know who this is it's literally gengar one of the most iconic faces anyone knows i don't know how it ended up like this as soon as my sister walked in the room i was like what do you think of this bandana and she was like is that gengar it looks cool <laughs> I'll probably turn the Gengar into a Chinese knockoff or something. Or even better, a Timu knockoff. Wait, I could just steal from Power World. For now, this is what I went with because uh, I already freaking did it, bro. I'm speaking after the fact right now. Bro, I already drew all these joints. Pokemon, please don't sue me. My children's children will be in crumping debt. Okay, so I was checking out Historia's guy. And bro, her leg is the length of her head. I don't know if I'm gonna have Mavina be that tiny, but we'll see. Okay, so I've drawn Mavina, but nah. We're making her tiny, bro. Tiny like a snack size McFlurry, bro. I think she looks cool like this. She has a lot of uh coolness to her. Also, something I want to mention here is that I don't think I've ever changed someone's height or like tried adjusting it ever. And I think it's pretty cool that I did pretty well here. I think I did pretty well making it look like she's actually small. All right, so Mavina, I think it's about to be challenging to draw her because as I said before, she's lazy. So she probably wants something perhaps cozy. But the problem is I don't want to make her too cozy. I still want to make her look tough like her sisters. So yeah, we'll see what I cook up. All right, guys, I spent three days drawing her and I just drew a yeah i drew a shit ton i'm gonna just show it in chunks because that's the only way i can show it but yeah we got the i don't know what the hell to call it category but it's a cool category then we have the chill outfit category um next we got the booba category <laughs> very nice category um perhaps my favorite i won't let you know if i'm being sarcastic or not lastly we have the super chill outfit for optimal chilling <laughs> the thing i like about this one is like her legs look super skinny for whatever reason she just looks like a twig all right so these are my top three favorite and bro they honestly look so freaking good also a little side note there was absolutely zero reason for me to fill in every single one of them you may be like what the hell made you do that anyways and can't you see how many i freaking drew i'm a psychopath in the first place and actually i don't even need to explain anymore and i will be coming back to these for other characters for sure but there could only be one favorite and i think the one with the target is pretty sick there's just something about it i really like i feel like it matches how short she is it kind of makes it look like she's extra tough all right so novena is like one of those people who barely react to stuff which is one of my favorite archetypes say something stupid happens like uh i don't know someone's boxers gets like caught on the car door and it just rips off and i feel like her non-reaction would just be like funny or she'd either be like this and it's not that she doesn't think anything's funny it's just she doesn't like to show it hey Mavina, um this is kind of hard to say. I, I don't, I don't have the words. My dog just died. Yeah, my dog died. Thanks for always being there. 
Uh, are you serious? God damn, this sniper about long as hell. She be using it like a shotgun in, in my imagination that right now. But soon in the manga, you're going to see her. She's going to be like 360. Boom. Bro, I genuinely can't wait until I draw that. I can't wait. Anyways, she's so cool. All right, so here's some lore on the sniper. Her sniper is a motherfucking op. And the op is the sickest gun hands down. I love the op. I want to buy an op. You ever see a black man with an op? Soon you'll see him when I post a picture of me with my op. This gun is so cool that there is literally a $10,000 version of it in a video game who the hell buys them i don't know possibly the cartel the mafia i don't know and also one of my favorite skins from c skill is the hyper beast and hell yeah bro it's sick and this is the main gun that got me in love with the op and yeah the whole reason why i just even brung up this is because the hyper beast bro this skin has my favorite color palette man this joint is sick and this is what my manga's color palette is gonna be for like the covers oh i almost forgot to tell you guys about her vacuum yeah um it's just a vacuum that cleans up crime scenes from the cartel and with that mavita is now finished she's looking cool as hell and yeah i think i did really well with this one y'all the sisters are looking cool they looking cool after i show you guys this next character i'm gonna be working on the character that's gonna be part of the mini manga i make all right so next up is a character you guys have might have seen before this is jalo and you may be like hey yo who's jalo well she's the main character and she's a sad girl let me show some people who she'd vibe with <laughs> All she does is consume anime, manga, and hentai all day. She's a pudding enjoyer. Oh, wait, you want to hear Jalal's cool ability? Well, about that, she doesn't have one. You want to know what makes her mad? Nothing. She only gets sad. I've drawn many, many drawings of her. However, there's a problem. Because I accidentally gave her a doppelganger. And now I'm split. I really like the way this curly hair one looked. So then I drew her again. And again, and again, and again. I even drew her in a hole as fight. But yeah, this version of Jalal and this Jalal are both Jalal. I don't think you guys will understand like how tormenting. Oh my God, I can't even speak. How tormenting this is. It's triggering. They are both Jalal, but only one of them can stay. I'm just gonna leave it up to fate. I'm gonna do a coin flip. Heads is the one with the black hair. Let's do this. Yeah, no, I'm not deciding on a coin flip. Actually, let me do it again. Okay, actually, let me do it one more time. I actually, actually... All right, so what I'm going to do is take my two favorite drawings of them, of these doppelgangers, and I'm going to switch their hairs. When I look at it this way, you know, you can see that they both look freaking cool, bro. I love them both, man. Can I get the digital circus music in the back? Oh my God, fuck me, bro. You may not realize it, but what you choose to wear on a daily basis really says a lot about who you are. For example, one day I saw a man walking with a greasy holy t-shirt at Walmart, but that wasn't the problem. The problem was that he blew his nose into his shirt. So now every time I see a greasy holy t-shirt, I just get reminded of that guy. The clothing you wear, the accessories you wear, they all have a symbolization of something from something you've seen before. I mean, just look at the picture that I'm popping up on the screen. Like what a character wears really does affect a ton. And so, yeah, that's why it's worth it to spend a decent amount of time into character design. And it doesn't have to be crazy or anything. It just has to match the character and what you want in general. All right. So I've been in the lab experimenting a bit. Basically, the current earlier option it doesn't look that good in front view and it doesn't look like the same hairstyle in all the angles and trust me i tried so i'ma stick with the og now i did want to show you guys this because i thought this was really cool i'm definitely gonna save it for another character because this doesn't really match the law's vibe and hey again i still like them both equally as much i just needed a reason to <laughs> get one of the double gangers all right so we only got one more character left to do before i show you the manga and yeah this is mei Jane. however there's a problem with mei Jane. she's pretty bad Shit. However, she also can be sweet and gullible. So she's split down the middle. I'd say she's one of the sweetest of the sisters. And this kind of sets up a problem because writing wise, how do I make someone that's super sweet also be a villain, a mercenary and an arsonist? I could just make her be a psychopath, but even psychopaths have reasons and motives and lines that they won't cross. So the question I spent the last hour or two asking myself is what line does Mei J not cross? And that's when I decided she's going to give no mercy to the strong. So while everybody's out here catching bodies like Sukuna, Meiji will be the only person who gives mercy to the weak.
All right, guys, get the children out the basement. We're making another construction line. All right, so first we got to start with the eyes. And yep, I whipped up all this joint. The construction line's moving well. And I wanted to make her look slightly creepy, but also cute, but also super confident. You may be like, what the hell is she supposed to look like? She's supposed to look like this. This is how I imagine her. It just kind of gives off this like goofy confidence. Like she's the type of character that would say, yeah, I'd win and then loses or something like, I totally know what's going on right now. Meanwhile, there's literally nothing going on on her head all right so i've been in the lab cooking and i like a lot of these and again as i always say i was like ratatouille in the kitchen over here i had to have at least created like 20 of these man and i feel like a lot of these are pretty solid overall i have really four choices to decide between and again i feel like all these designs could really work they all look really good but personally my favorite one is the one with the twist tails i don't know what they're called but i think they look cool it's um i feel like it's pretty unique and pretty interesting all right look at our expressions we got the nod win face you got a happy face a loading face a booger's face hmm? a booger's taste salty face and yeah i just created a whole bunch of expressions and she's cool i think you guys can like tell our vibes more now all right so we got mayjay's body now and i gave her like a decently athletic body and a sports bra and some custom shoes she got some air forces on here's some stuff that i cooked up and bro i mean like all of this looks pretty damn cool and i know one of these days i'll definitely come back and use these outfits for something because i mean this looks so cool and how many i make i made like 16 15 of these all right so here are my favorite three over here we got like that demon slayer joint i don't like it because it looks too much like demon slayer in my opinion the one on the left is nice and simple but the one in the middle is the one i really like and funny enough it was literally my first design and i feel like it kind of captures like the nice but slightly menacing vibe all right so we got some contestants from aj's weapon we got a big old black ball with teeth on it human sized scissors a chainsaw sword a fucking alligator i'm not gonna blue ball you and ramble i want mayj to swing around an alligator like it's a fucking sword i love that idea it sounds sick all right so this alligator sword's gonna have no handle you're just gonna be squeezing this alligator by the tail and its skin is gonna be like shark skin and if you don't know shark skin is rough like sandpaper fuck it actually it's now a shark alligator also its skin is so rough that on impact it will scrape your skin off very fun did you know that if you get bitten by a crocodile you're getting bitten by the world's strongest bite very fun all right so here's a little alligator thing i drew i'm probably gonna come back to it and make it even spicier later but yeah all right so right here we got the gator bombs and basically she can make them explode I actually may turn it into some like exploding alligator ghost thing but all right guys that's meiji in her prime looking cool as hell and yeah she totally looks like a person that would swing around an alligator everything all together looks pretty cool oh god i'm about to be voicing my own freaking manga oh god <laughs> Well, let's just get started. Hopefully it's good. It's about to be hard to turn the manga into like video format, but let's see. Mmm, so delicious. Yum, yum. Sweets taste better when they're not yours too. Hey, what you got over there? Nuh-uh, you're not going anywhere. I had to walk to the bakery and touch grass to get that pie. We can share some. So, what do you say? Lick, 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 lick. Hey, you're so rude. Just for the record, warrior music. You bought the pie with my money, so it's my pie. Ah! But you lent me that money, and now I'm taxing you. But that's so... No, I'm done talking. Boom, bitch. Instead of balls dropping, a pussy has dropped. Interesting. Shall we do winner takes all? No, I just want to knock the shit out of you. Just like I said then, winner takes all. Hmm, Mika probably thinks I'm so predictable. So for starts, I'ma have her charge the wall straight into a gator bomb. That'll catch her off guard. She probably wants me to charge straight into a gator bomb. It's been Get pre-fired. <gasps> Did I just swing at a chair? Boom! Push, push, push. I'm Mike Tyson, bitch. Huh. Hey, you're not funny. Last time you tore a piece of my ear off. But on top of that, you're being so mean, Mika. You wouldn't really hurt your big sissy, would you? I'll make you just like Mr. Popo. Black. <laughs> hmm, he probably thinks nothing's going on in my head. That I can't come up with even the simplest of strategy. However, I'm a kick explosion so cool, it'll blow your socks off. This kitchen is packed to the brim with gator bombs, and she's not dodging shit. Here she comes, any second now. What? She dodged before I even blew up the kitchen. Shit. She's probably running around back. <gasps> oh. What? 
if we keep going, she'll bite my ear off. Man, I'm done for the day. Hey, Mayj, can we just share the pie? Aw, man. The whole reason why I pissed her off was to show her how cool I can be. Sure. But that means I won then. Loser. Ignored. Mmm, so delicious. Yum, yum. So, what were you guys fighting about anyways? <laughs> Whoa, how'd you guys get over here so quick? She thinks she's being slick, doesn't she? Make sure you heard her. Wait, what'd I do? Burp. You wouldn't beat up your littlest sister, would you? Ah! Oh my god. Doosh, 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 doosh. Can you stop air punching me at full speed? You're gonna hit me. Puppy sounds. Bark, bark. Well, whatever. It's best we go to a bakery and get something shareable. Yay, yay. Wait, let me fix my hair in case I run into a 6'4 Latino black guy. May J, you really surprised me at the end of our little fight. You always pull out some cool stuff. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, I'm done. You can stop being in timeout or whatever the hell you're doing over there. Pretty cool, huh? What's up, guys? I'm back from the coal mines. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that little segment. That was the first story I made where I didn't really have a time constraint. And I remember when I read it for the first time, I was so giddy like a child while reading it. It was an awesome experience. All right, so what's next? Well, we still got three more characters left to draw. Once I'm finished with all nine of them, I'm just gonna draw a whole bunch of paintings of them, and it's gonna be sick. So right now, we're starting with Mahari. And Mahari's another totally sane individual, totally isn't a big shop, and totally wouldn't burn people alive. But there's a problem here. I'm running out of character archetypes. This character was supposed to be a tall Street Fighter-looking character. She's supposed to be super and energetic and happy. She's also was gonna be a leader slash mother figure. However, we already have all of those archetypes archetypes we have the mother figure we have the leader we have energetic people already so when i was drawing her i had to stop because i didn't have any idea who she was supposed to be so while i was watching patrick mahomes win a super bowl on and off i thought about who mahari is supposed to be and i just couldn't figure it out until i remembered something that i did a while back and i kind of realized that i like looking at archetypes as comedy archetypes first before anything else because the series i'm going to create is going to be an action comedy Comedy. And I feel like thinking about the comedy first just makes like the, the funnier parts easier. Okay, so there are a few archetypes that I'm missing. I'm missing a cynic and a narcissist. And I feel like the mother role fits with the narcissist archetype, which sounds weird, but the way I imagine it, Mahari is going to be a naggy mother type of person, but she's also going to have a sort of goofiness to her because without the goofiness, then she'd just be annoying. So there we go. Now that we have our personality down, I can now draw her in. Bro, I don't know what got into to me but i instantly knew what she was supposed to look like and you know while drawing the manga the goal wasn't to get better at character design but something clearly feels different because when i whipped her up i whipped her up instantly so apparently something happened i just don't know what happened anyways i gave mahari some curly hair to soften her up a bit some star earrings for her flashiness and also gave her a headband because i feel like headbands can give off like motherly sort of type of vibes here are some of her expressions yep that's mahari live in the flesh um live on the paper on the camera Question mark? All right, guys, let me do a fashion reveals for Mahari. <laughs> Alright, that's it. That's all of them. There's only six. Bro, this beat so fast with those. Three. You know, the thing is, her design from the neck up is so good that anything she wears just looks good. What I did to pick out my favorite outfit is, again, I just tried to imagine them on the cover of a manga volume. And it's got to be this one right here. I just feel like it looks super dope. I love it. And yeah, I think I'm already done creating her. I could think of a weapon for her, but she doesn't show her abilities until far deeper into the story. So I don't think I should try to create something now. But if you're curious for what i had in mind i was gonna have her have this one if you get hit with a one three times stars fall from the clouds and then rain down on you i mean that sounds pretty cool bro look at this page guys look at this bro they look dull they look sick together all right boys and girls we're going on a side quest to make the main trio design even drippier because after creating a design as cool as mahari's i feel like maybe the main three could use some work all right so here's mika's design i gave her this cool looking hat I told you guys you'd be seeing this hat a lot at first i hated the way this looked but not gonna lie now she kind of looks pretty drippy to me also here are some alternate versions that i made for her you know just experimenting with some stuff now for jalal we got some like cute ribbons in the back one of them has like bunny ear ribbons and then we just have this like cute bunny hat and i mean that is easily my favorite one here i also only got this idea because i thought fuko looked cool in her little hat and fuko and jalal are basically in the same archetype area and then now 
for Miyuna. There's some cool stuff right crazy here. And as you can see, I was trying to make her look edgy. Not too edgy, but you know, slightly edgy. And this one is my new favorite Miyuna design. I just think it looks like super cool. Guys, look at this page. Oh my God, it's terrifying. I think I spent like 12 hours drawing today. All right, guys, you know what? Right now I'm left with such a weird feeling. I've been imagining up these three characters for a long while now. And I feel weird because I can't really tell if I like the design or if I'm choosing it because it's more rememberable or I don't want to change their design because that's how they always been. And also feel like giving them all hats kind of turns them into a product it just leaves this kind of like uncanny feeling and that's kind of how i feel i have these like scenes with these characters in my head and imagining them looking different kind of breaks my own immersion so i kind of just want to keep them the way they are however there's this thing called murder your darlings which basically means you may have worked hard to create your darlings but sometimes you need to do what needs to be done and, you know in this situation i feel like it's a loss loss either way so i think the option to choose would definitely be the unique designs but i'm not i'm just gonna keep them just the way they were because these characters right here they just feel like a bunch of doppelgangers so i'm just gonna keep these characters just the way they are the next character, Melissa, is ready in the work. She's a doomer, a gamer, and she's pretty chill. So while I was working on her face, I was trying to make something that's sort of a combination of that. As you see, she looks pretty edgy, pretty doomer-like. Um, she's also a cynic, like I mentioned earlier. That was one of the um personality types that I was missing. And then I whipped up some sick outfits she could rock, and I got like a lot of comfortable or tech stuff. And you know, I'm kind of going over Melissa pretty fast because I don't really have anything to say here. It's pretty easy to draw what i was imagining all right let's see how well you guys know me out of these three which one do you think is my favorite you'll never guess it you'll never guess it or maybe i'm hitting you with the reverse psychology all right i'm about to reveal it three two one boom boom this is the one that i like the most honestly it's the most detailed one so you probably guess it or you may like hey yo, this is sus he definitely chose this one yeah, i mean hey you wouldn't be wrong i don't think any enemy characters have done this like whatever the hell you call it i think it's called a tech outfit yeah it looks pretty interesting in more ways than one all right so real quick i want to talk about how i actually changed my opinion on the situation i had with these three characters and i feel like it wasn't really that i didn't want to change these character designs i think what i was really feeling is the designs didn't match the character they just didn't match who i had in vision because when you add like hats you kind of niche them down into one archetype really deeply so overall i feel like changing or adding on to a character design feels fine now as long as you know we're keeping the archetype the personality or the vibe the same now next we have melita the Gojo of the series, power scaling wise. And she came falling out of her mother's womb by melting her stomach. The amount of heat she can emit is on the nuclear level. She's the most psychopathic and ruthless of the sisters. But other than that, she's mostly a super chill character and an agreeable person. As long as you're not on her hit list. Alright, so I spent 30 minutes designing her eyes, trying to feel out what type of design she's gonna have. And I couldn't really capture the feeling. I kept making her look meaner than what I intended. Because in all these, I feel like she needs to slightly more mysterious and chill vibe but and then i had no success until i decided to take out the trash and you know stuff like taking out the trash really does give you a clear mind it just like refreshes you at first you're like oh i gotta take out the damn trash and then you're like you know what i needed some fresh air anyways <laughs> And so yeah when i came back i realized what type of eye she needed and it's nobara's eyes and basically you may not notice this but nobara always has this look where she's like slightly in a daze her default expression looks like she's just chilling she's just cool so nobara has the perfect eyes i needed i just want them to be a little bit bigger and there we go melita is looking just the way i imagined her all right so for melita i only drew three designs and <laughs> which one do you think it is man yeah it's pretty obvious it's not gonna lie it is this one i was baiting you to choose this one but it was actually this one and yeah i feel like she looks exactly the way i imagine her. now what i'm gonna do is show you guys some of her expressions he kind of has you know a chill type of vibe to her but when she gets menacing she gets like really kind of like creepy i feel like she has the creepiest expressions out of all of them now for her clothes i ain't gonna lie that joint was made up pretty quickly and again i really do feel like making the mini manga has changed 
something inside my head. I don't know what happened, but character design has just gotten so much easier. I low key feel like I had the realization that time is of the essence. Don't spend too freaking long on one thing. So yeah, I didn't really have to create that many outfits for Melita. And I think I did a good job of blending together someone who's partially mysterious and someone who's also chill. But oh my God, guys, all nine of them are finished. And it is time to show you some of the art pieces I whipped up. For starts, we got Mika just partying. I drew this when she had a hat. Here, three of them are riding on Sharky. Jalal's in the back losing her mind. Next, we have Miyuna looking cool as hell as always. May J just... <laughs> chilling under the ocean why is she under the ocean i don't know bro i feel like that's somewhere where she just went to visit mika chilled with the dog mika's actually an animal lover I imagine the conversation before this was like hey i'm kind of bored today yeah you want to go set a house on fire sure all right so that was cool but now i'm gonna show you my top three favorite paintings Firstly, we got Miuna, and Miuna is just a cool ass person. She's looking dope. Here we have a late night snack after committing some arson. Even arsonists get hungry. And now we have all nine of them together, just chilling in this one room. This is just a piece that I'm like super proud of. Awesome. Now what I should do is show you guys the character sheet for them. And yeah, like this, they just look so sick, bro. They look like a sick ass team. I eventually, like just yesterday, I actually upped their designs and changed them up just a bit. But, like you can still see who all of them are. It just really just shows that character design is an ongoing process. And yeah, guys, this was super fun to create. Hope it inspired some of you guys to do some, you know, cool stuff or cool projects. Make sure to check out my Twitter if you want to be like updated on stuff. By the way, if you want to check out the little side story I created for this video, I actually put the manga on Webtoon in case anyone wanted to look at all the art or the story. I appreciate you guys watching all the way to the end of this video. Crazy that you made it all the way to the end. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day and peace.